All right, uh, thanks for staying with us. It's time to take a look at what the papers have to say yes. on their headlines this mm -hmm. morning and very exciting stories mm -hmm. uh, from The Punch, The Daily Sun, The Nation and, of course, uh, This Day this Newspaper. Day. Vanguard. Uh, yes, we're joined by Odile Adio, who will be analysing some of these sensational stories, <laughs> if you like, <laughs> uh, with us this morning. morning. All right, let's uh, begin with The Punch. Mm. Good morning. Um, Good morning. Uh, Thank you. Good to see you. Buhari reinstates NHIS boss under probe for alleged 919 million Naira fraud. Mm. Yusuf was suspended by Health Minister, of course, on July 6, 2017. Uh, I mean, news came to me <laughs> as a, <laughs> a shocking surprise. Um, mm. I mean, if you follow the antecedents... Pleasant shock? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify. I mean, really. if you follow the antecedents of, um, you know, Professor Isaac... Uh, mm. Ade Wale. Wale. Mm. Um, he's been a man of um, impeccable integrity over the years. Mm. And Minister I do not think that um, he would have indicted the NHIS boss without any fair reason. Mm. I do not think that um, there was any axe to grind, that there was any vendetta to pursue before he indicted... Um, you know, the other professor, Professor... One would have thought so that if anybody was to reinstate the NHIS boss, it would be the person who suspended him in the first place. Oh, yes, place, oh, yes. You would expect that... Uh, yeah. 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 Maybe after, after, the after the probe, oh, yeah. yes, had taken yes, its course. Yes, that the correspondence would actually have even gone through. I mean, mm -hmm. it's possible he was also having dinner like you, you and I were, and, and, and I saw it on the it. news that yeah. he was being reinstated. Mm. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I'm disappointed, to say the least. Um, we've not exhausted, you know, the probe. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's the story of, of, of Nigeria. It brings to mind, really, uh, what some, uh, one of the statements credited to uh, Professor Yusuf at that time, yeah. when, when um, the minister uh, was having a towel with him in public, mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, paraphrasing now, that uh, the minister had nothing on him, that he was an untouchable kind of. Oh, yes. Uh, you, there was uh, nothing. The punch, the punch you know, followed that story, uh -huh. you know, some point. Um, very interesting. So uh, there was an interview that he even granted a punch. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the NHI's boss. And um, he used the swear word. I don't know if you ever reviewed mm -hmm. that interview. And he was asked, and he said, listen to me carefully. Mm -hmm. And he used the swear uh -huh. word consistently yeah. at the mm -hmm. reporter. So I think he belongs to the class of the untouchables. You know, I've always said, you know, he there said are two categories of Nigerians. He said it, and now here's proof. There's the untouchable, and there's the, the expendables. So mm -hmm. I think he belongs to the class of the Is untouchables. Is this uh, so. another Mena Gate? Well, <laughs> uh, they talk two different things entirely. It's, it's really sad. All right, let's move on to other stories on the punch. Uh, defend yourselves if attacked. Or Tom uh, tells Benue residents, of course, the governor is telling residents there to defend themselves. Um, is this a recipe for chaos? That means a complete recipe for chaos. Um, by some stroke of magic, Nigeria has just not exploded. I don't know what keeps the country together. Um, it's strange to me, if it was any other country, I mean, the country would have self-imploded. Mm. Um, but for some reason, maybe it's the prayer of my grandmother, who knows? <laughs> who knows? But, and um, my grandmother, too. <laughs> but, but you just cannot explain <laughs> how Nigeria has lot, really. um, yeah. stopped together. But I mean, this is, this is the point we are getting to where we're going to be raising uh, with warlords. statements uh, credited to some uh, important people, kind of, yeah. in, in the country, mm. holding public office holders like the Minister of Interior and then the Inspector General of Police uh, at some points. Uh, and, of course, the Defence Minister. Exactly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, hearing all of this, uh, that, that what they've, they've said uh, somehow irked some Nigerians. Would you say maybe that is why some of these things are happening at this time? I mean, because without Paul doubt. Nongo said it too, that if President Buhari uh, wouldn't do anything about protecting the lives <laughs> of Benue people. I mean, without a doubt, uh, I don't want to be the governor of Benue State at mm. the moment. The mm. man is extremely uh, <laughs> frustrated, to say the least. Um, he, he doesn't have the control of the security on that, on that you know, the touch of his fingers. Mm. He's completely frustrated. Mm. Yesterday or the day before yesterday, you, you had such very derogatory statements from the PRO of the mm, police, the police. Yeah. Yeah. describing him in such very unflattering words. Which many Nigerians are still you know? praying it's not true. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it was... Is, I mean, it was on TV, for goodness sake. Nigerians are, yeah. praying. Just, Nigerians just are hoping, praying that, just I mean, hoping that, that it didn't come out of a police officer. If it was on the pages that. of the Absolutely. newspaper, you, you could argue that probably mm -hmm. it was um, it, when it went to print, errors you know, were yeah. found in the pages of the papers. But no rebuttal like so TV, far. And it was even tried to caution. All right, you asked a question exactly. earlier. You wonder why or how come Nigeria has not exploded. But it looks like in Edo there is some level of explosion. Edo youths police clash over killing of driver. Uh, issue of uh, police asking for bribe and you know uh, it, it's, it's really sad it's mm. really sad that, very, um, yeah. 
at every it. single corner in this country, it's one chaos or the After other. The other. It's one chaos yeah. or the other, and it's really sad. Mm -hmm. it's really really okay, we'll go to the nation newspaper. The major story here, uh, Buhari, headspan bandits' attacks won't be tolerated. President pleads against reprisal. Benway Taraba Zanfara is set to host uh, Buhari. Uh, I mean, I think we must move away from this pretty rhetorics and sound bites to, to walk on the ground. Um, we're losing lives every single day. About 150 mm -hmm. people have died since mm -hmm. January alone, and mm -hmm. we're just um, itching to the second week of February. Yeah. Um, we, we just cannot keep um, consoling people and, and just putting words um, on the pages of newspaper without any corresponding action. But how much difference will this um, strong stance, seeming strong stance from uh, uh, President Buhari Nasarawa, how much difference will it make? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure it's any strong stance, believe, okay. me, believe me, because you want to see action on ground and not really mm -hmm. the words. I mm -hmm. mean, in any case, he's, this is the first time we're hearing him speak about it Hurts directly. Hurtsman will no longer um, be tolerated yeah, at yeah. some point. Directly. I mean, when you hear him coming out of his mouth mm. in quite a while. Mm. And, and for me, I just, I just don't want to hear him talk about these things alone. I need to see work on ground. Mm. And if it's anything to go by, if you, the, the lack of coherence from the security apparatus yeah. and the kind of statements that are conflicting with what is on ground in Benue State, mm. it doesn't give me... Um, any peace at all. All right, so we'll go to another story. Passengers miss flights as ex Airways uh, workers protest. Uh, mm. They're protesting uh, the, f the fact that the finance minister uh, is yet to pay their severance package since the Nigeria Airways uh, got liquidated many years many ago. Many years ago. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, dear. I mean, government is supposed to be a continent. Mm. You know, I don't know. I, of course. Um, the argument is there are, no t there are no funds to go around, you know, at this particular point in time. So, uh, <laughs> It's, it's a sad, it's a sad yeah. tale. No okay. funds to go around <laughs> <laughs> the pensioners, the, I mean, those that already put, it, exactly. that put in so it's, years it's really of their lives sad, to serve really their country. Tale. But really somehow, some few people get to get funds. Exactly. Uh, benefit really from the system. The Daily right. Sun has Before a story. we go to the Sun, okay. I still have a, a story. Senate Reps Joint Panel adopts uh, Reordered elections timetable. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was oh the yes, Sen yes, Reps oh first of, uh, now the Senate the is backing it up. The Senate have adopted it and... There are a few... Um, Meaning the presidential election will come last, come for last. those yes, watching. Yes, uh -huh. there, there are a few political pundits who like to think a few people want to secure their own interests first <laughs> before, <laughs> before the pendulum swings at mm. the presidential election. But All let's see right. how it plays out. Let's <laughs> see how it plays out indeed. Daily Sun, of course, is reporting the same story. National Assembly rejects election shadow. Presidential governorship elections now to hold last. National state assemblies polls come first mm. all right to uh, you know ways uh, they're looking for ways now to reconcile the apc uh, tinubu will be heading that uh, particular reconciliation committee mm. and daily sun is saying tinubu heads apc reconciliation committee uh, i mean i think very uh, timely uh, i mean no no i mean this is coming on the eighth day of the week if you'd ask me <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, the PDP is in complete chaos in most of the states, um, mm. whether it's in Kanu, where you have the Kwakwasiya faction against the Gwanduje mm. faction, it's in Kaduna. Uh, you're talking about mm. the APC, no, of the course. The APC, yeah, yeah whether APC. it's in Kaduna, mm. the, um, you know, Sheikh Hussani and El Rufa. I mean, the list is endless. Mm. States after states, there are fractions. Is this the APC's APC. last chance? Mm to get it together. I, I mean, if I don't it fails, if this reconciliatory move fails, what then? I, I'm not even sure it's going to pull through. I mean, I have complete faith in the political wheat of mm. um, Ashiwaju. Absolutely. But I'm not just sure he'll be able to pull this off. There's, there's too much. There's just too much Even when the news broke, in the broke out yesterday and I was speaking to an analyst, he said that, is it the same Bola Tinubu that these people moved against exactly. after the, so, I mean, the, the President so Buhari <laughs> won? Now they want him exactly. to rec so reconcile people that worked against much. him. I mean, some allegedly. Of us, some of us More like shocked. getting him to do the dirty exactly. job. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, okay, IBB spokesman Afebua slams one billion Naira suit on police appears today. Of course, mm. uh, we hear that he'll be, uh, you know, uh, taking himself to the police. police. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. no, IGP no. threatened yesterday to arrest him. I, I, they actually Declaring declared wanted. him a wanted man. Mm. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> you know, that, that's the story, that's the sad story of my country <laughs> where the IGP declares um, a citizen wanted for issuing, um, a for issuing a statement on behalf of an of individual who has not laid a complaint with the Nigerian mm -hmm. police mm -hmm. force. I mean, it's, it's the tragedy of our country. <laughs> For defamation of character and all of that. Mm. And we've been wondering whose character really whose has character been exactly uh, defamed in yeah. all of this. Of course, two media houses, too, have been sued alongside yeah. uh, the Nigeria police.
Okay, so we go to the Vanguard newspaper. Hetzman killings, defend yourselves. Governor Tom tells Benny people. Mm. We talked about that yeah. earlier. Uh, riots ground, uh, ground binning as uh, policeman kills driver over one, 100 Naira. We talked about that too. Senate reps agree on order of elections. Presidential poll to come last. We talked about that. Okay, so we need to $145 billion to fund ERGP. That's Economic uh, Recovery, Recovery and Growth, growth Plan yeah. in four years. Well, we're going to get that kind of money. <laughs> we're, we're very we're good, very good um, um, prayerful people in Nigeria. So we pray <laughs> hard, and hopefully the money's going to come through. <laughs> Let's just keep praying that the oil prices remain mm. um, on the rise, <sighs> and hopefully we'll raise the funds. FYI, okay. like some people say, <laughs> prayers don't translate into money. Oh, it's just yeah. to let you yes. know. <laughs> All right, external reserves hit $42 billion mm. as Naira depreciates to 360 in Naira. Oh yes, of course. You Up know, from um, yeah. But you know, there's always a correlation between mm. the increase in you know crude prices in the international yeah. market yes. and you know um, the foreign reserves. So mm. yes, um, it's not really who, as long as prices increase in international markets, mm. you have you know more monies in your reserve. Well, one of our today, analysts so. uh, yesterday, uh, Michael Berry, said, "Look, this is nothing to be excited that's about. What I'm the saying. fact it's remains that <laughs> oil is still the only source. Exactly. Of so that's, that's what happens. So when exactly. it goes up, it goes up here. It's yeah. not that like, it's not from some administrative genius mm. or something, you know. So." Okay. Sarah, right. key EFCC, uh, EFCC's turnaround on CCT chairman, suspicious, and that's coming from this day newspaper, appears at tribunal, closes defense after one witness. Of course, a defense witness won, just one witness that he had yeah, yeah, uh, I mean, yesterday. I, I heard a very cheeky report, you know, that the Senate president was expressing his sympathy. For the the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For his CCT travails for his in the hands of the EFCC. <laughs> I, so he must <laughs> feel he must be able to exactly. empathize. Exactly. Yes, so absolutely. I, mean. <laughs> like, I, I feel you. I feel you. Look away from all the politics. <laughs> Missing Nigerian masterpiece Tutu found in London flat, and Tutu, of course, is an uh, Ife princess, princess that uh, you know attained an almost mythical status after going decades unseen. It's been discovered in a North London flat. Oh, Very yes. interesting I, I one. Saw, I saw the flash and I was going to read the story because it's mm. quite interesting. Yeah. Just like many of our Artifacts, um, really. artistic mm. heritage, mm -hmm. you know, found particularly in the United Kingdom yeah. and what have you. And hopefully, um, just like we have tried to argue for some of them to be brought back to our country, particularly the ones taken from the Benin Kingdom, mm -hmm. we hope something can be done about this. But too. what well, kind of action is the government uh, putting into it to get these things back? That's the question. Oh, well, that's the problem. You uh -huh. know, the, the <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that's what we yes, have to live in. Adieu, adieu, adieu. adieu. Thank you very much for uh, <laughs> Thank your you analytical. For uh, yeah, duty. Of course, we'll still <laughs> hold you on to talk to us uh, about uh, a first discussion after this break. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, stay with us. And it's about uh, the letter uh, written, then unwritten, and then written by <laughs> ex <laughs> <laughs> former military president of Nigeria, Ibrahim uh, Babangida. Stay with us on the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs>